Hello everyone, this is Engage UK, I'm back again uh, with another video and today I'm going to do a uh, video review of the Dapol Ferry Wagons. Uh, these are based on a, a type of wagon which was uh, used to transfer uh, goods from Great Britain to the continent and vice versa, uh, hence the name Ferry Wagons. They're based on a, a what's called, they're called a Danzas van, uh, diagram E512. Uh, Dapol have released these in uh, three liveries um, in the last uh, three or four years. The first one they released was this plain silver livery, uh, number NB048. Um, all of these releases they've done in four running numbers, so this is NB048A. There's also a B, C and D suffix uh, of those available. Uh, the second um, livery they did them in was the silver with a cargo wagon branding like this. Uh, this is a weathered version uh, exclusive for the Engage Society. Uh, the numbers of these ones were NB049, uh, this is the C, uh, again A, B, C and D available. And then the most recent one was uh, NB065, A, B, C and D. And this is with uh, cargo wagon branding again, with the, with the yellow cargo wagon uh, lettering on the side there. Um, these are quite tricky to track down nowadays. Like all Dapol products, they tend to only release 500 or so of each uh, running number. And if you, you've got a couple or two or three and you're trying to find the last number to complete the set, it can be a bit tricky to track them down. I was fortunate enough to pick up these for under £10 each at the Engage show last year. So I did quite well there and I've managed to get a complete set of these. I do have uh, the other special they did for the uh, Engage Society which was a, a Taunton Cider version of the wagon. So that livery is only ava available from the Engage Society and I believe it's still available. Um, uh, the other, as I say, the other special was this one which is a weathered version. Um, it, that just shows that uh, they're an attractive van and when you weather them up they, they do look really nice. So let's uh, take one of these out and have a closer look at it. Okay, so I've chosen uh, suffix A, NB065A to have a look at. Um, the original price of these, as you can see by the ticket on here, was just under £20, around £18, something like that. Uh, they can be, as I say, picked up um, a little bit less than that if you hunt around, but uh, the problem can often be just finding that last one to finish off the complete set of numbers. Comes in a nice hard case uh, with a sleeve, so just take the sleeve off and then uh, you can remove the top of the case, nice tight fit, uh, to one side and a plastics uh, protection sleeve as well to guide it and then just to have a quick look at what the wagon looks like. Um, first impressions, excellent set detail, um, down to these little wheels and um, uh, these are little things for tying, uh, tying off ropes and chains and things like that. The printing is uh, excellent, very fine detail. You can look, look at that through a magnifying glass and uh, you'd be able to read some of that. I can't make some of the very small printing out with the naked eye but you can read the number and all the details on there quite quite uh, quite clearly um, livery is very well applied um, to take this out you just uh, can persuade it from one side so we have a closer look at it um, you get uh, with it a small bag of details. Um, when, you, when you purchase the wagon uh, originally it comes with standard uh, Rapido type couplers. Uh, these have NEM coupler pockets and Dapol very kindly also, also provide um, both short and long knuckle type couplers and um, I've already changed this one over to the longer version of the knuckle couplers. I couldn't put the short ones on because um, it brings the 
the wagons so close together that um, anything um, anything like a, a, a tight curve, uh, they will just uh, you'll get a buffer lock. Um, the wagons will buffers on the wagons will, will start hitting each other, and you're going to get problems with derailing and, and things like that. So just take that out. Um, under frame detail, there isn't really much of it. There is detail underneath, which um, you can't really see when it's running on there, but it's it's basically um, pretty plain at the bottom. Um, very nice uh, end detail on the wagon. Uh, and there, with, with the small knuckle coupler, as you can see, much less obtrusive uh, than the Rapido, and also gives a much closer coupling. Criticisms, well, none really. Uh, one more, an observation, and you can do something about it. They're, they're fairly light, so adding a bit of weight is, is possibly a good idea with these, just to uh, make them run a bit, a bit better. Uh, but can't fault the, uh, the detail, can't fault the, uh, the printing on them. Excellent. Uh, and close coupled up, they look great. So I'm just going to put a couple on a piece of track and show you what they look like with these knuckle couplers uh, close coupled and uh, how more uh, proto prototypical that looks than um, with the old Rapido couplers. So there are a couple of the ferry vans on the track. Um, just for your information, this is uh, Pico Code 55 track, just so you get an idea of the scale. Uh, with the longer of the knuckle couplers, and even with the longer ones, you can see the, um, the gap between the buffers there is about one millimeter. So um, this is why using the short ones, um, if, you, if you've got anything um, smaller than probably 24 inch radius curves, something um, like that, you, they're not going to be. Uh, you're not going to be able to use those short ones. But even with these longer ones, you get a lovely close coupling, and they look they look great as a set uh, running around. Um, might be hauled by I don't know, a 30, class 37 or a class 58 or something like that. So to finish up, very nice wagon, very good detailing. Um, they look great. Uh, as a set running around, um, might be a bit tricky to uh, track down uh, nowadays, um, especially for the kind of price I was lucky enough to get these two for. Um, or they may be re released in the future, hopefully, Dapol, if you're watching, then please, more, more of the same. Um, or even more of the plain silver ones or stuff like that. Weathered up, um, especially, they look really, really good. Um, so I'd give them 9 out of 10. Definitely 9 out of 10 for these. Uh, the only uh, slight, as I say, issue may be a bit uh, light in weight, but you can do something about that quite easily. So hopefully if they are re-released, they'll be re-released in a weathered version as well, which would be uh, very nice to save us a bit of effort in having to weather them. But even non-weathered, uh, very highly recommended. I've given 9 out of 10, as I said. Um, the Dapol uh, Ferry Wagons. So that's it from me for the moment. Thanks for watching. Please uh, comment, rate or subscribe in the box down below. Uh, but hope to be back with another video very soon. Until then, take care and see you soon.